Pellegrini was one of the most important Venetian history painters of the early 18th century. By uniting the high Renaissance style of Paolo Veronese with the Baroque of Pietro de Cartona and Luca Giordano, he created graceful decorations that were particularly successful with the aristocracy of Central and Northern Europe. He traveled widely, working in Austria, England, the Netherlands, Germany, and France. In his painting, Queen Tomris and the Head of Cyrus, Pellegrini portrays the story of widowed Tomris, queen of the Scythian nation of Massagete. During 530 BC, records show that the Persian king, Cyrus the Great, was victorious in an initial assault on the Massagete. He ordered his commanders lay a trap for the Scythians. The plan was for the Persians to leave an abandoned camp behind, with a large supply of wine. They chose wine because the Scythians were not wine drinkers. By the time they had drank all of the wine, they were left incapacitated. The Persians then decided to attack. Sparkapasis, being the queen's son and army leader, was one of their major prizes, who eventually committed suicide in captivity. In return, Queen Tomris led her troops to conquer the Persian army, killed King Cyrus, and ordered him to be beheaded, and then crucified. Before the crucifixion, his head was shoved into a wineskin filled with human blood, as depicted by Pellegrini himself. A direct quote from Queen Tomris states, I warned you that I would quench your thirst for blood, and so I shalt. In Western art, the revenge of Tomris represents the victory of good over evil.